The Ukrainian Defense Intelligence recently carried out probably the most impressive strike on Russian territory since the beginning of the full-scale war, attacking the Olenia airbase at a distance of almost 1,800 kilometers. According to Forbes, this raid was part of a Ukrainian intelligence operation that also attacked two other airbases and an oil refinery. Using a growing arsenal of locally produced drones, the Ukrainian defense intelligence is stepping up its raids on Russian territory. The main targets are airbases and oil refineries, but drones also strike weapons factories and space objects. This attack at a distance of more than 1,800 kilometers at 480 kilometers surpassed the previous record of Ukrainian drone operators. In May, a Ukrainian sports plane converted into a UAV attacked an oil refinery in Salavat, more than 1,200 kilometers from the front line in Ukraine. Modified sports aircraft may be the longest range in Ukraine's arsenal, but the intelligence agency operates more than a dozen other types of drones. This is one of several bases that regularly supports Tu-22M3 bombers. Russia uses about 63 Tu-22M3, 55 Tu-95 and 17 Tu-160 to attack Ukrainian cities with cruise missiles. Large-scale shelling makes it possible to overcome the Ukrainian airbase. Bombers usually fire their missiles from a distance of hundreds of kilometers, which is too far for most of the Ukrainian air defense to effectively shoot back. At the same time, a rare Ukrainian heavy surface-to-air missile S-200 could hit the onboard Tu-22M3 over the south of Russia in April, Forbes added. It is not yet known whether some parked bombers touched down on Saturday's raid. This is always difficult to establish, as the Kremlin rarely acknowledges painful losses. Information about this usually comes from outside observers who examine commercial satellite images for evidence of burned aircraft. So far, there are no images that would confirm the defeat of the Tu-22M3 at the northern base. What is clear is that the officers in Kyiv are not just supporting their attacks on Russia's powerful warplanes while they are parked and vulnerable, they are intensifying the attacks. Russian bombers are not safe within a radius of 1,600 kilometers from the front line, the newspaper concludes. IR and land intervention continues for the forest fire that broke out in Kozan district of Adana. The fire spread to the olive grove due to the strong winds in the region and the olive garden belonging to a citizen was burned. While Kozan District Gendarmerie teams evacuated 10 houses in the neighborhood, a citizen supported the intervention by plowing his field to prevent the fire from spreading to the houses. The teams responded to the fire with two planes, three helicopters, 25 water trucks, 13 water tanks, 12 first response vehicles, five construction machines and 280 personnel, while efforts to bring the fire under control continue. Kozan District Governor Bahatan Alp Arslankoilu is following up on fire extinguishing efforts at the scene by establishing a crisis desk with forest fire extinguishing teams at the Fire Coordination Center. The fire is being fought by numerous teams from air and land. The forest fire that broke out in the Yumukler District of Antalya was fought with eight planes, six helicopters, 70 water trucks, 11 water supply vehicles, five construction machines and a large number of fire extinguishing workers. Two helicopters with night vision, 70 water tenders, 11 water supply vehicles, five construction machines and many fire extinguishing workers from the General Directorate of Forestry are trying to bring the flames under control. It was learned that the fire, which was partially brought under control yesterday, did not progress too much thanks to the team's intervention throughout the night. It was reported that two more firefighting helicopters began to support the work at daybreak.